you're trying to put the bloody blame back on me, but I can't support the family. Well, I'm actually out there working hard on my job. It's just a fair job at 5 in the morning, and I'm back at 7 o'clock at night. I read a sign once above the rearview mirror of my old school bus. It said, Be kind to everyone, because everyone is fighting some sort of battle. When I grow up, I want to help people. He's had two lots of 20 already. Will, put it at 360 CPR. and go again. CPR. Yeah. Touch my mind. Help me sleep. Press my lungs. Breath I keep. Share your wounds. Knock out teeth. My shoulder blades. What about you?
William. William McIntyre, it's the police. William McIntyre? Constable Rossi, this is Senior Detective Bridges. Do you have any problems with us searching your premises? What for? I'll check the bedroom. These aren't yours, are they? They're just from work. I, I ran out of my script. Whatever you say may be taken down and used in evidence. You understand? You're kidding me. Come on, let's go. Josh? Joshua! Do you know this girl? Yeah. Uh, just the other night. Your career is over. I don't know what you're suggesting. William, we're not suggesting anything because we know you did it. Mr. Palmer, Jane, please tell the court what happened next. And then, he had my arms pressed down. Your Honor, this is all hearsay evidence. Mr. Peters, you please sit so down. Why would she be here? Why would she be lying? Order, order. This court will adjourn till 10.30. She drank with me for 10 hours, Francis. Of course she's gonna feel weird and out of it. Then how do you explain the morphine? I don't know. Maybe she took some painkillers. Maybe we scored some drugs when we were out. Maybe... Maybe he's not good enough, William, okay? Maybe he's not good enough. Jury four-person, how do you find the defendant? Guilty, Your Honor. What? <laughs> we'll, we'll lodge an appeal immediately. You said 80 20 our way. Yeah, I know. I, I'll have it sorted in a couple of weeks, okay? I didn't do it. Okay, come on, let's go. Hold your head up, William. McIntyre? Yes, ma'am. Get your clothes off. What? Now? Hurry up. Raise your arms. Lift your nuts. Turn around. Bend over. Now cough. Good morning, Pax. See you, Pax. See you. Right. Good morning, Joe. Top Hey, Bryce. I'm Benji, the Subway Bandit. <laughs> you know I was on four TV stations last night? First store, I was in an Elvis suit, and then I dressed up as Spider Man. <laughs> You should have seen me on the cameras. <laughs> you know they got cameras in stores now? Will you listen to me straight in? Yeah. Yeah, well just as well, mate. There's no fag boy brushes me off, you know what I mean? No one. Hmm? What are you looking at, Bushy? A dead man. What did you just say? I didn't, I didn't quite, didn't quite catch it. Oh, mate. 
Morning muster is at six. There are seven further musters a day. Any questions? Yeah, I need to see a nurse. <laughs> McIntyre, Reed, Taylor, B Yard. Hey Benji, has to be put in with me. Yeah, up yours, princess. You can't afford this. And my prison will not tolerate this kind of talk. Welcome home, Jimmy. Don't you tell them. Tell them what? What you been for. Too much to this one, and for God's sake, don't tell him what you're in for. Butch. You got ten days before parole review, right? No, why would I do anything to stuff that up? So we have an understanding then? What are you in for? Uh robbed a servo. A servo? Yeah, 
here at petrol station. I know what a fucking servo is. Can you get any smack in? No. These? Whiz? Juice? Uh, no. I shit, shower and shave first, and every night I get you dessert. Got it? Yeah. I'm Will. Chuck your shit up there. McIntyre, Hurley, where's Hurley? I'm hanging a shit. <laughs> Wrong answer, get out here. <laughs> you think that's funny, boy? See me after muster. Reed, Spaniard. Count is correct. All prisoners break off. Hi. I'm George. How long you got? Six years. But I'm appealing. Well, that'll take a few months to come through. So a few months? Months. At best, come on. The system is jammed up with appeal. We all innocent. Look, pal. The best way out of here. Any earlier for you is to stay out of trouble. And read this. If you want a new cellmate, I'm in a two-hour all by myself. Just ask Graham. Says here you were a nurse. Yeah, I'm a nurse. Were a nurse. Seeing you're such a caring person, we need someone to look after Fong. Sorry? Fong Poi, over there. Now don't get too close to him. He killed his mother. Now he will need assistance with everything. You'll get $5.20 each day. When do I start? Well, by the looks of things, he needs to excrete right now. Enjoy, McIntyre. Which one's your cell? Come on, Fun. Keep books like these on the low. Yeah. Heard you came in on the bus with Jimmy Cove. Yeah, he took my shoes. Listen, kid. That boob head's done time in every state in Australia. Story goes, he ate a bloke's ear for breakfast.
The detention prisoners, the church service will be held in the prison chaplain's room in five minutes. Any prisoners wishing to attend the church service, please come to the guard's desk and collect your ID card. See my boys in the library? Uh, yeah. Will they say anything, do you? N no, mate, not a thing. I'm not your mate. I'm Will. I know. <clears throat> okay, then. It's okay, Fong. <clears throat> Thanks for the sickies. Prick put you in with Butch. So he had a good job in the outer. Now he's got you looking after Jackie Chan. <laughs> Piss off. There's walls of ears, pal. Don't trust no one. Sorry there, Fun. Almost. Yep. You're needed at the front house. You've got a visitor. <laughs> Who? Can I just finish here? Yeah, yeah, you can finish there. But, uh, I wouldn't miss this one. <laughs> William McIntyre? You know who I am. Well, if I go by what somebody shouted at you from the gallery at your trial... Yeah, a sick maggot. You drove an hour and a half to call me that. No. To deliver these. We're appealing your sentence. Only six years. What kind of crack was your judge smoking? The appeal shouldn't be too long. Enjoy your new home. Proven in this mind of a convict, a veteran of vigilance, a hero to some, but a legend to many who saw some correctional centers all over the world listening. Never been patched up, but always been affiliated, never been cashed up, but always money motivated, never be stressed out about a dollar loss. Born a struggle, we put the hustle for the cause. Accused of misdemeanors and serious offenses, abused, alcoholics, and pissing up the platinum. Overdose to sought to be the most rebellious. Come a toast to get toasted with the devilish. Doing time behind. Doesn't justify judgment for my flaws So you're on a rap plea guilty for the fact that The life I lead has me always falling back track I'm not a bad man, just a man with some bad luck Corruption in the system got everyone handcuffed Best with the curse, reverse the boom heels But dress with the verse to burst open the cup I'm not a bad man, just a man with some bad luck Corruption in the system got everyone handcuffed Best with the curse, reverse the boom heels But dress with the verse to burst open the cup I've always been a man to push through my limitations never be shocked to abort my heart's visitation Stuck in the mainstream, grey beams holding me down But with the local lack, mine I can turn it around Full responsibility, except in the prison man Look, has no humility, except the humility Brainwashed, erasing all signs of innocence Locking you away from every chance of deliverance Caught or the parole with not suspended sentences No matter, he's still behind electrified fences Closed off from the world, labelled as an outcast We are for now I'm not coping too well here, Francis. William, 
things are moving along, we just have to find a Queen's Council. Why can't you do it? Me? <laughs> this matter is way beyond me. Look, your matter is going before the Supreme Court of Appeal. I know, and it's not about my innocence. Don't worry about their appeal. The court has to hear about ours first. Look, I'm going to find someone experienced who can fight the appeal against your conviction <laughs> technically. I need someone who can fight the charges based on the truth, Francis, not a technicality. I'm going to get the right person for the job. Back in time. You're up. Let's go. Get your clothes on. Will, William McIntyre. <laughs> William. <laughs> this was your father's before he passed away. How are they treating you? I'm okay, Mum. How can you say that? Mum, I'm okay. You're in a maximum security prison for something you didn't do. You've got years to serve. It is not okay! Ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to keep it down. I knew this would happen. This is not right! Mum! Mum! Ma'am, you're gonna have to leave. Don't She'll be touch right. me! She's gonna, gonna be okay. Have... You don't! Touch me! William, I can't do this to you! I, I love you! I love you too. Was that your mum? Yeah. How was it? Huh. Shit. At least you've got someone to visit you. I reckon it makes your time harder. Ah, turn it up. Baxter. Okay. It's handed. Yeah. Anything beats the same old, same old. What did you do? I burned a bridge. What did you do? I had a one night stand. And why aren't you in there? I didn't rape her. We were drunk. We had sex. I left. And why would she cry rape? Turned out she wanted her boyfriend back. His best mate saw us getting on. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to have sex before you were married? Sanders, that's from Cove. What the hell are those guys doing? Oh, they fatten them up and bang them in the pot. Baxter. Will. Jimmy Cove has taken a liking to you. How do you know him? Me 5-8 crossed him on another tour. And? Now that was a bridge Andy shouldn't have burned. Jimmy whacked him on the spot. He doesn't seem like the They never do, kid. They never do. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, Will. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I heard some copper came and saw you today. Yeah, mate, they want me to do more time. I'm fighting these bastards, George. I'll be out of here before Christmas. Christmas, eh? <laughs> Sounds like that little book I gave you is starting to make sense, mate. What are you appealing? What are you appealing? The whole thing. I found that every successful conviction gives the DPP. BD what? <laughs> Public prosecutions. They allocate credit points for funding. Rape okay, is such an easy charge to get out for. Yeah, does that really affect the jury's verdict? But... Yeah, does that really? We lost all the intelligent jurors at selection and we're left with the ones that had nothing better to do than watch Judge Judy lie. <laughs> Mate, but don't worry, we'll not get out of here. Oh, we can be all right. I'm off her house. Knock off her house. She did house. house. She did Friends house. house. She house. She house. Uncle's house. house. Uncle's house. Uncle's house. Shut up, Benji. We'll win the appeal, I'm sure of it. She won't know what's hit her with a defamation lawsuit. Tess says he's friends with Jimmy the Big Biker from A Yard. We've had words. <laughs> Can you tell him Tez needs a suit? Yeah, sure. Uh, careful. Will. Yeah, careful, Will. <laughs> so good. <laughs> You've been in a bit, I take it. <laughs> First time. <laughs> Jimmy? It's not enough. Come here. I won't hit ya. I told you I wouldn't hit ya. Now you tell that Russian. It's this. Next time. Catch me. What are you in for? Park and fines. Park and fines. McIntyre. Do you know that if we were to inform the police about what we found in your possession, you'd be looking at another four to five years? We'll be investigating every visitor on your list. Yes, ma'am, but I'm telling you. And know this. Your every move will be under closest scrutiny. McIntyre. Ralph, if they want to settle two million out of court, then surely you've got to accept that offer. Look, Ralph, I've got an old friend at the door. Can I give you a call back? OK, bye. Francis, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. I wanted to have a quick chat to you Francis, about something. Francis, you've never been a very good liar. I told <laughs> you should never become a lawyer. What's going on? I went down on a case I did for legal aid. Legal aid? Yeah, I took as a part of my percentage for community placements. Look, nothing wrong with a legal aid case. I'm intrigued as to why you've brought it to me. Julie, he didn't do it. You haven't forgotten our first year subject on professional boundaries, have you? Who sentenced him? Hoggins. 
Hoggins hasn't had an appeal against conviction in 20 years. And that's why we need you, Julie. We? Well, I need you, OK? I need you. This case, it's different. It's not right. Yeah, and I'd need $40,000 up front. He's only got two. Well, then I'll see you at the Christmas party. How's this? She's taking it a little hard. How are you going? What do you mean? What has she said? You know her, she's a sensitive little thing. Look, how are you really going? Hanging in there? That bitch is still sticking to her story, John. This is bullshit. William. You have to forgive her. My life has been ruined. I've lost my career, my freedom. The newspapers have smashed any reputation I have left, and even some of my good friends have snubbed me. And you expect me to forgive her? Then you'll be free. Time's up. Come on. You're crazy. You know that. The hard part will be you'll have to keep forgiving her. Will. Liz believes you. Let's go! Hey, bud. Hey, bud. You need to head, right? You can join us. Right? <laughs> sure, Benji. Yeah, you just you say you're out of this outfit. Just say you're tired. This is for you. It smells nice. Oi, Braz! Braz, put him in the future, please, mate! Dear Will, I really don't know what to write. I cry nearly every night thinking of what has happened to you. I'm sorry that I have not come in to see you. I'm glad Dad has been able to visit though. He says I should just keep praying for a positive outcome. His faith in God drives me crazy. I would love to come and see you but don't know whether I will be able to keep it together. I am thinking of you. Your special friend, Liz. Gonna drive the getaway Benji, car. shut up. Not now. Look, I think Fun wants to help you when you get out too. So, can you draw it? What's up? Got a letter. Gee, blacks are all the same. Want to get everything to be perfect, then you'll be happy. I know what you're in for. How many armed robbers have you done? Enough. You gotta take risks, Cupcake. Can you not call me Cupcake? Risks. Without them, you'll never know. My friend John calls that faith. Faith? Hmm. Fuck faith. <laughs> Something you hope for, and certain of what you can't see. Yeah, well, my rewards are certain, pal. Oh, they don't really pay off, though, do they? What's her name? Uh, Liz. Liz. Lizzie. Well, I'll tell you this for free. Everyone you thought would be in that business room holding your hand won't be seen for 500 mile, and others you never expected. Just rock up. I had some really good mates. 
Bullshit. Bullshit! Merely good mates, eh? So where are they now? You see them? They write you. Who would take a bullet for you? Ride the wave, eh? The what? The wave. <laughs> you goose. You were so missing out. You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? The ocean waves. It's like... It's like you're completely alone. And you're surrounded by this... Massive thing. The swell comes up behind you. You snap up onto your board and boom! You're away. It's got gotcha. you. You're hurtling along this barrel and you can hear your heart. Ba-boom. 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 Then what? Then BAM! You lose your balance. It knocks you upside down. No mess. You're smashed up in its grip like a rag doll in a washing machine. That's worth the risk. Excuse me. Oh. Wouldn't it be good to break Hogan's track record of not having one conviction overturned in 20 years? Hmm? I'm sorry. Now, what were we saying? That's it? 
That's it. Boom. Hi, right, mate. Uh, just a can of sausage in, um, a can of Coke, and some of those noodles. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Mate. Can I grab a plastic bag? Get the boom. Butch! I worked for this. If you want some powder, don't put me on show. Come to me in private and ask for it. Come on, move along. What? <laughs> the drill. Got delectable beans today, boys. Yeah. Can I have some sausage in? Sure. I'll get some for you when I finish my meal. I'm getting a little impatient. You look like crap. Great to see you too. You look like you're handling yourself all right. I was actually scared shitless. Oh, Jackie! You, uh, you've been in the slot? Oh, yeah. Three weeks, mate. What's it like? Fish and chips. What brings you to be, uh? Policy. Thanks for a pill down. It's gone. One minute they're saying it shouldn't be too far away. The next... I've been thinking about this tart. What tart? The one who got you into this mess. Mm hmm. You can get hold of the tin G. Ten G. Yeah. What for? You get ten G to me. I'll sort it out. Sort what? Sort who out, idiot? You shouldn't be locked up in this shit. Jimmy. You're saying that for $10,000 no, no. you can have this girl murdered? No, That's what you I meant. Say you that. For $10,000 you can have this girl murdered? Oh, exactly what you're saying. Don't bring your Bible bullshit here, son. I've heard you're uh, shacking up with Georgie Foy. Don't you get caught up with all of his. Caught up? Caught up. The only person caught up here, Jimmy, is you. When are you just going to be yourself? What was your first job, Will? Mowing lawns? Mowing lawns. Mm. You remember your first day? Yeah, yeah, I do. Well, I was eight, me first eight. 
I used to ride my little yellow scooter through the streets of the grass. Mum and her friends would give me a couple of coins, you know, get them a cuppa, a couple of coffees. Five cents for every cup delivered. That was my pocket money. Thanks a couple of years. Coffee run for hookers. For one day, I couldn't find Mum. It was a Friday and I went looking. I found her up this alleyway and and just getting the crap beaten out of her. So I stabbed the prick. And he never did get up. So I am who I am, boy. And I don't need no life lesson from some pimply ass kid. You no know shit. Dear Jane. <coughs> Don't know why you said what you said against me. One thing I do know that happened that night is that we slept together. I forgive you. <laughs> Apples are up. Playing the Friday's footy game. Now that you're in the yard, I think I will. says I've got angels all around me and if anything were to happen to me I'd hate to imagine what would happen to them you're filling this kid's head with shit George it's only shit if it stinks mate and frankly right now all I can smell is the stench of your rotting soul are you crazy George but it's time you felt the joy Look, whoever believes and is baptized shall be saved. But whoever doesn't believe shall be condemned. So what? So we're gonna do this for you. Do what you want. Well, get the door. What's the guns? Come on. Have fun.
Quiet, Butch. Look out for Come here. Rip your top off. Come on. We claim this soul in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Welcome to the kingdom. All prisoners return to your cells. Night not going in two minutes. All prisoners return to your cells. Night not going. McIntyre. Sorry, sir. What's up? You're up. You got a visit. William? Hi, Julie Nahr. Hi, Will. Uh, Francis told me you've been studying the law closely in regards to your matter. I have. It seems a pretty clear-cut case. Uh, your trial judge has died and the police have lost important video footage and the complainant still isn't backing down from her story. And I'll be taking your case. Uh, I have no idea who you are, but, but thank you. First things first, no guarantees. I'm praying we're gonna win. William, please know the prosecution counsel is not gonna back down that easy. But I didn't do it. I know what your stand is. Mrs. Nile, it's not my stand. Okay, we better get this ball rolling. How are you doing in here? You know what? What's that? I actually like some of the guys in here. You don't belong in here. So you know I'm innocent. I didn't say that. But it's the truth. The truth? It's the law that sets us free, William, not the truth. <laughs> this Hello. is the best day I've had. Lizzie Senior. Nah, it's my new mouthpiece. Francis is my old mouthpiece. He's not old, but he was the one that represented oh, yeah, me. Yeah, slow down, strong. pal. Slow down. You give me an earache. Sorry, man. I'm just pretty stoked. Good for you. You know that suit you wore in court? Mm hmm. Des is still looking for one. I really need it for my appeal, though. Of course, mate. Of course, I'll get it back to you. Uh, hey, Jimmy. Hey, Will. Hey, Will. Hey, I overheard the Lebos are going to get you back for breaking our Rani's jaw. Ooh. Well, I'll break it again if he comes near me. And yours too, if you talk to me again. I was just saying. <laughs> He's just trying to help. I think Brooks is right. <laughs> <laughs> He's far from right, Macca. Far from right. No, I mean, I haven't heard Benji talk like that. Heard it all before, pal? All before. Yeah, good job. Oh, no. Coach is correct. All prisoners break off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
It's... It's Benji. In here, even small things can make people crack. I hate this place. If it wasn't today, it would have been tomorrow, mate. A walking time bomb. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Welcome to the jungle, my friend. First time in all me 26 years behind bars, I felt like a free man. Mrs. Cove. I'm Will. You better take a seat, bloke. Good to see you, man. Yeah. How about your plea? What are you going to do? I'm not sure, Mum. I'm still on the fence. Well, I think you should tell him the truth, son. Plead guilty. That'll set you free. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I didn't mean to upset you. I just, but look, I've been in prison too. I just want you to be free. Julie, what a surprise! Morning, Francis. Um, there's just one more thing. There always is. Appeal date. The 9th of May. That's just weeks away. I need you to keep the dates quiet until we've gathered the necessary paperwork. We need to get access to the witnesses that weren't brought forward in the first trial. Yeah. Do you think we'll win? Well, we have to. He's innocent. You know William McIntyre. If games get too tough, please you want to take as many as it takes. Jimmy hasn't been telling you to keep away from me, has he, Will? I told him to keep away from the game, not the player. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, that is so sweet. <laughs> Watch it, Brooksy. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Cut this off. You to keep bad company, George? Yeah. It's all that home brew under my bed. <laughs> Sorry for the early wake-up call, boys. It's not your fault. Actually, it is. 
What do you mean? I've got something important I need to ask Will. Oh, shit. You rush it on yeah, us so you yeah, can have yeah, a cheap chat with... Yeah, right yeah, right St. Louis. <laughs> It's pretty cold, mate. It's pretty important, mate. Come on, boys. Up. Let's go, Jimmy. surfing. Yeah. Where do you go? Anywhere. But where do you go? Rainbow Bay. Sounds <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know that last job I was telling you about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the Hamilton... Yeah, yeah, well, i got to go to court today to enter a plea. Oh, yeah? What should I do? I mean, if I plead guilty, now. They'll, they'll ship me off to Risley for another ten years, I plead not. I'll have a trial and two, and I'll move me anyway. Either way, I'm screwed. Still there, Will? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. What would you do? I'd... I plead guilty. Then face the music. Sounds good, pal. I'll say a prayer for you. What's wrong, McIntyre? Lost your bum chum? Everybody knows why you're his friend. With a charge like yours, you'd be dead in here. <laughs> What'd you give him return, eh? <laughs> You bloody coward. What's the matter, McIntyre? Did you think you were going to get your suit back? There was no poor prick going to court. Jimmy sold it for a pouch of tobacco. I can see right through you, McIntyre. I'm smart. I said, leave him! Here's George. Here's George. Ah! Here's George. Leave him off! Oh, <laughs> 
George! Yep, here are the affidavits, the precedent cases, and the last trial transcript queries here. And uh, Will gave me this to give you just in case you needed some help. Okay. McIntyre. Yes, sir. Happy, sir? It's a job. Not with your job. With you. I haven't been since I was a kid, son. Huh. Nice of you to join us, Miss Nile. I didn't think the tall puppies came down here. Mrs. Nile Barry. All stand. <laughs> this court is now in session. Bring the prisoner in. All people to do with the matter of McIntyre versus the Crown are under oath by order of Her Majesty the Queen. Yes, Mrs. Nile. Your Honours, I'm here today representing Mr. McIntyre. Our case is succinct. We have three pertinent precedents which prove Mr. McIntyre's first trial was a miscarriage of justice. A miscarriage of justice is certainly going for the jugular, Mrs. Nile. Yes, Your Honours. I wish to waste no one's time on this matter. And by doing so, we can hopefully achieve a decision forthwith. In reply to the defensive submission, Mr Dunbury, will you be seeking adjournment? Yes, of course, Your Honour, that will be necessary. He's a shitty fox. Yes, William. Welcome to the world of getting your stripes. Now stick with me here. We're almost there. OK, they're going to take you back to the prison tonight and bring you back early in the morning. Then we're going to hear the prosecution's argument against our submission. And the judges are going to go away and decide. This may take a few days. I'm burning up, Julie. It's the last leg of the marathon, yeah? OK. OK. See you tomorrow. Uh, Julie. Thank you. Well, it definitely sounds like a chance for the next chapter. Oh, almost. <laughs> Got on your mind. Well, hey, hey, you go. Yeah, uh, you know how it is. <laughs> Hopefully. Hey, Fung. How was your mouthpiece? Yeah, she's good. I can tire. McIntyre. Yes, ma'am? You have been cleared of any further inquiry into the contraband found in your cell. Keep out of trouble. Mm. That's all. Here is to stay out of trouble. Careful. Here's to 84% of prison sentences being directly alcohol related. If there was no alcohol, there'd be no prisoners. Cheers. It still would have been easier to have pleaded guilty than go through all this. An armed bandit today has pleaded guilty Turn to his latest armed robbery in Hamilton and has walked free from court. 
After presiding, Judge Hanlon took into account his remorse and time already spent in prison. James Francis Cove, 51, now wants to walk from his life of crime. He has revisited the staff he terrorised at the bank, asking for their forgiveness. Cove, who has served jail time in every state in Australia, culminating 26 years, is confident he can turn his life around with the help of his mother. I haven't earned an honest day's living in all my life. That's not cricket. You know, it, uh, it, it shouldn't be that way. Oh, it's real good to have him home. Yeah, <laughs> he'll be fine. Has he been can welcomed back George? into the house with open arms? Yes, I oh, can, yeah, mate. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> This must be tough. All prisoners return to your cells. Nate Watt will go in two minutes. All prisoners return to your cells. Nate Watt will go in. Scientific evidence led by Dr Ulos and Dr Florgan during the first trial, which formed an important part of the Crown case, now turns out to be invalid. Effectively, as a result of the concessions made under oath by both witnesses, the scientific support for the complainant's allegations of drink spiking offered in the first trial have now evaporated. None of this takes away from the fact that traces of morphine were found in her urine. Mr Darnbury brings new light to an important fact, Mrs Nile. Yes, I'm well aware of this only fact the Crown's entire case rests upon. But as we've been told by experts during the first trial, that any codeine pill purchased off the supermarket shelf for, let's say, a hangover, when broken down to its base form, is morphine. I'm sorry, Your Honour, I think I need to take a break. <laughs> what is your point? All stand. This court is now adjourned until 4.44 p.m. William, it's not looking too good. You're doing great, Julie. We're nearly there. I can see the finish line. Tumbry's giving me grief. Show him tall popping. Stuff, Darnbury. You're not a tall popping. What did you just say? I was just using the marathon analogy that you helped me. No, 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 no. You said something, Darnbury. Uh, y you said a tall poppy. Francis, wait right here. If I'm not back in five minutes, tell him I'm in the lavatory. Come on. Bugger, forgot to feed Mr. Chips. You guys go on, I'll see you in a bit. Hello, Mr. Chips. Come on, Stevie, my battery's dying. Dad, what have I got myself into? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Bioethics Department, Stevie Best. Stevie, you're alive. Jules. Stevie, I need you to do me a favour right now. Sure, sure. What is it? Okay, I have a morphine trace level I need you to check. Okay, just let me get on the system. Stevie, we only have two minutes. Okay, okay, far away. Okay, th the reading is 500 micromilligrams. Coming up pretty low. Okay, Stevie, I need you to fax that to me right away. Has anything come through on the fax yet, Donna? Must be the water us commoners drink. Indeed, I'll be taking a filter next time. No, not yet. All stand. <sighs> Mrs. Nile, you were about to respond to Mr. Darnbury's point regarding the morphine in Miss Tears' urine? Yes, Your Honour, I was. Furthermore, to the concessions made earlier, I believe significantly damaged the Crown case during the first trial for many reasons. The jury was simply left with the evidence of Miss Tears' symptoms. What is your point, Mrs Nile? The truth, Your Honours, and anybody else who cares to listen, is this. The reliability of the account Miss Tear gave during the first trial is not only weakened by this report from Dr Grieven, 
showing sedative or stimulant drugs are found in less than 5% of reported cases for drink spiking. But if you care to take a look at this drug level analysis report, just sent over by our state's leading toxicology laboratory, you will see that the levels of morphine found in Miss Tear's urine are equivalent to that to someone having ingested poppy seeds. What? on a bagel. <laughs> this cannot be entered as evidence Sit now. Sit down, Mr Dunbury. It's a fact of pre-existing evidence. We are going to need time to make a decision. All stand. McIntyre. Come with me. They overturned your conviction, son. We won. Yep. You're free to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, sir. <laughs> Never mind. Now listen, you can't tell anyone, okay? Not even George. We want to get you out of here alive. We'll call by before tomorrow morning's let out. Jimmy Curve. <laughs> Love you, you bugger. Somewhere our horizons are what we're 
searching for falling in together living day to day to feel anymore I first heard this sound I read a sign once above the rearview mirror of my old school bus. It said, Be kind to everyone, because everyone is fighting some sort of battle. journey now begins let your song unfold its wings step into the light of love reach for blue and tranquil skies soar into a paradise and touch the face the face of God Sunset